Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is FSM, that is Finite State Machine. Myself, Shilpa Rudrawar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Ayandi, Pune. So, moving ahead with the today's topic. Before actually moving ahead with the FSM, I will be explaining what is digital circuit and what are the different types because uh, FSM is a sequential circuit. You should be knowing what is meant by sequential circuit. So over here, you are able to see difference between combination and sequential circuit. In digital circuits, there are two types of circuit. One is the combination circuit and another is the sequential circuit. Now, what is meant by combinational circuit? Normally, you are able to see AND gate, MUX, any basic gates or uh, universal gates where uh, output depends upon input only. So over here at the moment you have given certain input as A and B and output is decided on that A and B. So there is no memory required. You need not have to store any data on which your output is going to depend. And that's why in the combination circuit you are having these basic gates over there and there is no feedback use. There is no memory requirement and that's why this is combination circuit where output is depend upon input at that time. Now whenever you are going ahead with the sequential circuit there is a flip-flop there is a memory uh, content over there. Now why that is required because whenever your output is there output depends upon input or it might be depending upon previous state. So that's why if the previous state is there or previous uh, contents are there you need to have a feedback you need to have a memory to store that particular content. Here you are able to see in JK flip-flop 0, 0 is there and previous state QN was 0. That's why QN plus 1 that is the next state will be depending upon QN. If that is 0 then this next state will be 0. If this is 1 next state will be 1. So in this JK flip-flop uh, truth table you are able to see if the input of JK is 0, 0 output will be qn that depends upon what is the previous state depending upon that next state is changing or next state will be there so we will be seeing what is the difference between combination circuit and sequential circuit as per the discussion we did uh, now so output depends only on the present value of the input so here i have given the example that a is 0 b is 0 so output is 0 that is q is 0 but here in the sequential circuit output depends upon both the present and the previous state value of the input. Now meaning of that present state present input is j is equal to 0 and k equal to 0. Now my output depends upon qn. So this output will be qn or depending upon previous uh, output or previous state my output is going to change. Now this circuit will not have any memory as their output changes with the change in the input value. As present input is going to decide your output so there is no requirement of memory and memory is required to store so there is no requirement of such storage and that's why memory is not present over there but now in this sequential circuit you are able to see input is there and there will be certain state uh, that circuit will be so depending upon that state and the input your output is going to change suppose so for that reason you need to save the previous state value and that's why memory is required and that is same is written over here. The sequential circuit have some sort of memory as their output changes according to the previous and present value. Now as feedback is not there, so uh, you did, don't require the feedback because my output depends upon present input only. But here you require the feedback. So that is written. Use in the basic operations like a AND gate, half adder, full adder, multiplexer, decoder, encoder. These are the example of sequence, uh, your combination circuit. But whenever you want to implement such memory kind of de uh, de uh, design or devices such as a RAM register, counter, shift register, ring counter. So you require a memory. So hope you, this particular point is clear. So what is the difference between combination and sequential circuit? So whatever FSM finite state machine we are going to see that are the sequential circuits. Now. Whenever we are going ahead with the finite state machine, so one example you are in the day-to-day -day life you are able to see that is traffic light. So here you are able to see four lane and the cars are there and you know that signal is red, uh, green and yellow. So that states are going to change every time. Pre first it is in green state, signal is on, then it will be uh, turning into the uh, yellow state. So you can go with your uh, risk or 
that particular uh, transition time is given that is 5 second because previously 60 second that uh, particular uh, traffic light was uh, green now after yellow it is changing to red that is you need to stop so that way it is changing the state from green to yellow and yellow to red it is taking certain decision when to change from this to this and when to change from this to this so this is called as a finite state machine another example that is automatic floor cleaning robot where you know that this robot will be cleaning the floor now this will be in wandering state means it will be searching state then if it uh, detects any dirt then it will be moving into the spinning state that it will be cleaning that particular dirt if some obstacle is coming then it will be turning so next it is turn if battery is low it will be going to the home state because it has to charge and whenever it is in home state it has to turn off so these states are there whenever it is in that state it will be performing that operation so this is again a one type of finite state machine now why the name is finite state machine because the state are countable 1 2 3 4 5 five states are there more than one state should be there so that's why it is a finite state machine now if you need to understand what is finite state machine another example is given that this is the machine which will be having some states it will be printing so page is available after that ink is available according to that it may be changing its states bottle filling uh, machine also we can consider bottle is available then that opening will be there liquid will be poured into the bot uh, bottle and then lid will be turned on that way depending upon the state and depending upon some input your next state as well as output is decided definitely in the coming ppts you will be understanding what is the present state next state output but this is just a starting now over here so finite state machine fsm is a computing machine computing means it will be deciding what to do that's why computing machine that has a fixed set of possible state as i told you it is in state red green yellow for the traffic light a set of input there might be certain input if the traffic is more on certain uh, line so you need to turn particular uh, traffic signal on that way inputs will be there and depending upon that it will be changing the state that from red to green it will be changing and has certain outputs okay so what is finite state machine it is a computing machine which has fixed set of possible state and input and depending upon that there is a change in the state as well as the output so here you are able to see that finite state machine is a combination of combination logic so this part green color you are able to see that is a combination logic and this blue part is the sequential circuit or memory content is there so com combiningly it is forming your fsm now to this combination circuit input has been given it will be giving output along with this input there is a present state present over here in the register or flip-flop that has been given to combination circuit so combination circuit will be deciding its output as well as the next state depending upon this input as well as the present state so in digital circuit as i told you output depends upon input only but in this particular sequential circuit and that too in this fsm my output depends upon input as well as the previous state or present state so my next state depends upon my input and the present state so as sequential circuit is there definitely clock is there so combiningly forming this combination circuit and this uh, resistor that is flip flop you are having this fsm so hope this part is clear now type of sequential circuit now or you can say fsm finite state machine that is divided into mille and more now mostly ask question what is the difference between melee and mode that you will be getting clear in this uh, coming ppts so depending upon state of machine output are generated based on either the state or states and the input of the machine they are of two types melee and mode now how my output is going to change if my output is changing depending upon present state only then it is a more kind of fsm again i am repeating if my output depends upon present state only then it is a more kind of fsm so here you are able to see this more fsm this is the state diagram this is called as a state diagram where this is my state one this is second state this is third state and this is the fourth state whenever the circle is there 
that is the state now here meaning of more is that my output is state dependent now this is what is circle is the state and inside that we have written 0 0 by 0 meaning of that this state is 0 0 that is a 0 1 that is b 1 0 that is c and 1 1 that is d so these are the four state to identify each state the name we can say that is there and if you are in this state that is 0 0 which is a state your output is decided that it is 0 it is it doesn't depend upon any kind of input so in this more we can say my next state and output depends upon present state only so hope this part is clear what is more circuit or what is more so one example for more i can give as a counter so what is the counter counter is counting the states suppose it is in 0 0 state next state will be 0 1 if it is in 0 1 state next state will be 1 0 if it is in 1 1 1 0 state the next state will be 1 1 so that's why depending upon present state if it is in 0 1 next state is 1 0 so that's why without any input output is decided as well as the next state is decided that depends upon the present state so in more output is state dependent why it is state dependent because inside this state it has been written over there that output is zero okay now what is more mille so in mille my output and the next state depends upon input as well as the present state now concentrate on the wording that in mille my present state and on input my next state as well as the output is decided now over here over here i'll be taking one pointer to show you now on this transition whenever it is changing from one state to another there is a transition on this transition only one bit is written but over here on this transition two bits are written meaning of that this is the transition then you are writing x by z x by z which is the meaning is called x is the input and z is the output so this you are writing for the melee on the transition you are writing input by output but for more on the transition you are writing input only okay now what is the meaning of this so in melee output depends upon output as well as next state depend upon output means this one by zero so one is the input and zero is the output so my output depends upon my present state my present state is suppose a so from on my present state as well as this input my next state as well as output is going to decide so what is my next state my next state will be b if my input is one so again i am repeating again i am repeating here here in the uh, melee what I am uh, going to tell you that in melee my output and the next state what is my output my output is this zero this zero my output depends upon output as well as next state depends upon my present state as well as input so if I am in a state and my input is one so my next state will be b and output will be zero hope this particular part is clear in the next coming say, uh, ppt's you will be understanding what is the exact meaning so here you are able to see that mille fsm where this is the combination circuit this is the uh, flip flop and this is the combination circuit will be giving output again the next state is given as an input to this combination circuit to provide a output so my output depends upon input as well as the present state but in more my output depends upon present state only whatever the state is there according to that output is decided 